Hello, international students, uh, all those who love Taoist culture, who like Taoist practice. Today, uh, in Wudang Mountains, in Wudang Taoist Wellness Academy, I'd like to uh, give you some explanation about a special picture. This picture, the first side, look quite like uh, a painting of the nature. So, as you can see, the trees, the mountains, and also the water, a farmer plowing the land. Yeah, two children were this like uh, they are working on a water mill and yeah you see some other natural some natural elements yeah look like a Chinese painting but as a matter of fact this is not merely a painting of mountain water the name of the total picture Ni Jing Tu can translate it as uh, internal meridians or internal scripture. Anyway, uh, this picture is quite much about internal alchemy. Taoist yeah. practice fundamentally is about the three treasures. So there is a saying uh, in the Taoist classics, 上要三品, 神于气金, literally, the top three medicines are nothing but our jin qi shen. Uh, jin qi shen it's quite hard for for translators, so you must have the knowledge about the Taoist the practice and the English language. So here I'm trying to find the appropriate counterpart of these three Chinese uh, characters. We human being, when you look a human body, yeah. Externally, we see one's hair, head, neck, uh, and a physical part. But this is not uh, something, uh, how to say, the very fundamental stuff for a uh, human life. From the Taoist perspective, a human body's life lies in actually the three traitors, what we call three traitors, Jing. Qi Shen. Jing, very literally, that's like a, the sperm of a female person, of, of a male person. And Qi, very literally, you know, each one, each one of us is breathing. So that, this is the breathing Qi. And in the air, in the nature, there is also the air we breathe. We have, we must uh, inhale into our body. But here, the chi here, the chi among the three trailers, is quite uh, something like uh, energy force, energy flow. And the shen, spirit, literally spirit. That's also one of the important elements of a human life. So Jin, Qi, and Shen, these three sort of uh, triangle makes the very the very things 
to create, to make a human life. If you observe a human body, now we have this part, yeah, medically speaking, scientifically speaking, this is where our kidneys stay. And uh, this part here, there's our heart. And top here in our head, inside our head, there is a brain. For a lively a human body, the kidney part, where our energy comes from, and the heart, the brain. That's genuine, that's really meaningful. Let's just imagine the beginning of a human life. Very, very, it, it actually comes from nothingness. Then, because of the yang jing from the father and the yin jing from the mother, they combined, then give the new birth. So, very, a new life, very beginning starts from the heart. So, I suppose everyone have seen such a picture. You know, with the one's pump, now, you hear the beat, heartbeat, then all the different parts of the body eventually came into being. So, if I have said that the kidney and heart and the brain, in a Taoist practice, they use three terms, lower Dan Tian, Middle Dan Tian, and uh, Upper Dan Tian. Tian means field. Uh, you can see field. Dan means valuable medicine. So this is the fields, not of wheat, not of rice, not of cotton, but of an important valuable. This is mad. The crops, you can expect to have crops of good medicine. Indeed, a human life, the kidney, where our energy comes from, and we have a heart, we have brain, that make human being that's what makes human being different than the other animals. So the cultivation of a human person is actually about two parts, the physical cultivation and the spiritual cultivation. Well, in the Taoist practice, we have a saying, xin shen xiang jiu, heart, xin shen, kidney. Xin shen xiang jiu, shou bi tian gou. If your heart and uh, kidney can be meeting together, your life will be as high as the heaven. So our kidney is down, our heart is in the middle, our brain is, is up. How can they really meet? So this picture tells the secret. We do the microcosmos Breathing, we call it zhen ren zi xi, zhen ren zi xi, like immortal breathing. Hu sheng qian jiang, back up, and front downward. So this makes different, make it different than the common people's breathing. You know, common common people's breathing, that yeah, simply inhale. Then exhale from the front, in and out, in and out. But Zhen Ren, a true man, or this is the term in the Taoist practice, back up, front down, back up, and front down. How make it go up when we're breathing? So, this is the role of the water meal. You know, 
A water meal, a typical water meal, his function is to make the water going up. So here we see a boy and uh, a girl. They are doing this work. And here we see it's like a pass, like a city tower. And uh, here is one. And uh, actually, we have a three, three acute points. We call it them respectively, Wei Liu Guan. And uh, here, it's Jia Qi Guan. And uh, here, there's Yu Zhen Guan. Uh, the two high points, respectively, this and here and here. The pass means a place is hard to go through. But you have to make effort. So make the chi, inner chi to go up. So these two children, they are working with that. Here actually, when we do the upward inhalation, our buttock muscle, we call we, uh, there is a compression make the inner chi go up. Then, the chi coming down for the purpose to... We have the fire, so then we will pull out the fire from the heart. Various disease normally started from the heart. So with this water, kidney water coming down, Playing a role to pull up the, pull out the fire, and also coming down to nurture the land, to nurture the land. Let's have a, another metaphor. In Taoism, we say "lian jing hua qi," "lian jing hua qi," "lian qi hua shen." So "jing qi shen." Jin represents something very substantial, while shen, like a spirit, you know, spirit, something spiritual, not uh, so much like a substance, like a matter. But with this qi, the energy flow, so we connect actually the lower dantian, middle dantian, upper dantian. So this is the central task of the Taoist practice. Since Shen, like a spirit, we say something spiritual, so here actually we see this is a typical image of a Taoist practitioner, while here it's like a Buddhist. Buddhist. So this is some, something like a combination of uh, mainly Taoist and also involved with some Buddhist idea. At least the, the painter of this picture, he believed the combination of Buddhism and Taoism. Of course, in his, in his opinion, Taoism actually top priority than Buddhism. So the Taoist, the Taoist is here. And this represents sort of uh, divine domain. So the, the names, Ni Wang Gong, everything sounds very celestial, celestial, holy. And here, there we see the spleen. Uh, we see something like a liver, a gold bladder. This is all about in the zhong uh, jiu, uh, middle jiu, middle of the triple warmers. And here is the lower dantian, and this is like a stool. And this small tiny sign, like a pews. So. Here is a stone. Let's have a metaphor. It's like uh, for cooking, we put we put woods, you know, there. Then with the woods, then we lit the fire, so the fire burning up, and then it produced the heat. Heat here, it's more relevant, like uh, the spirit. So the wood the fire and the heat, the temperature, this makes the life, vitality of uh, life. 
that's all for today. This is a uh, like a rough introduction. Uh, I can in the later lecture tell you more about uh, this special picture.